All right, so here's another situation that I'm dealing with as a professional organizer that really is a heavy burden on your family. Um, I have a client that I was planning on doing a project with her and we've got to relocate the project to deal with a family member that passed away. They can't find the will. They don't know where it is. We've got to get all the stuff. Their documents aren't in order. It's causing problems with all kinds of things to not have these important documents and to not have a process in order. So especially if you have children, this is really important. You have got to get your documents in order. You have got to get your paperwork in order, your will, your estate, your, you know, your children. You cannot leave this up to chance. You never know when it's going to be your time. And for this person, they didn't know. And now their family's left trying to figure out what to do with all their stuff and what to do with how to get access to all the things. And it's a real heavy burden to leave on your family. And that's what I'm dealing with this week with a client. And, you know, how do we get into the safe that supposedly has the paperwork in it? Um, we can't get permission from a locksmith without... <laughs> the documentation that's supposedly locked in the safe. Law firms aren't calling back. Like this is not something that's easy. You've got to be able to have this set up and have the information where it is easy to get to. And people who are going to be dealing with your estate when your time comes need to be informed on where to go to look for these things, who to contact, what your information was. Like they need this information. It is so important. I've had probably five families in the last year that have dealt with, I mean this year in 2023, that have had to deal with this same situation because of different paperwork going missing or not having stuff in place or, you know, a wife getting, having to move out of their home and not having access to any of their income, their assets were frozen because they don't have the paperwork in order. They still have children at home. How are they supposed to deal with all of these things in the midst of grieving and dealing with the loss of their husband? And they don't know what bank accounts they have. They don't know what loans they have. They can't find the car loans. So their cars get, you know, like all of these different things are happening in these families' lives. And I'm here to tell you, if you do not have your paperwork in order, you have got to prioritize that. That is so important. I have a, a lawyer that I'm working with right now to get ours done and completed because I don't want to leave this for my family to deal with. I have four kids. What if? You never know. Car accidents. Like I know so many young people. My daughter's kindergarten teacher in her 20s was killed in a car accident in the middle of the, you know, right after spring break. Like this was so unexpected, obviously. You weren't expecting this person to pass. And, you know, other clients with heart attacks and all these other things, and I'm not trying to be morbid, but I am telling you, if you do not have your paperwork organized and those important legal documents done, if you don't have a will, if you don't have, you know, who did you give custody to? Who would you want to have your kids? This is so important. And if you don't have that information done, you better prioritize it. I'm going to share an episode um, next week with my lawyer friend who is doing mine. Her name is Hillary Valancourt with Valancourt Law, and she is absolutely amazing. She asks the best questions that help you to really understand, and they send you an update reminder every week asking a couple of questions. Has anything changed? Have you moved? Have you added pets? Um, have you added children? Um, have your vehicles changed? You know, what has changed in the last year? Because those are things that are so important when you aren't there to make the decision. And you never know when that's going to happen. My sister was hospitalized in the ICU with sepsis um, with three young children. Three. I went and got them right away. Like it, it, it's, this was years ago and it's something that she didn't know. She thought she was fine. She actually was sitting in the ICU feeling fine, but her body was complete septic shock. <laughs> who, who, you know, you don't know, you don't know. Thankfully she's okay, <laughs> but this is something that you can't prepare for. And she was so young. This is not, I mean, this was not something that she thought like, about at all ahead of time. 
and they certainly didn't have their paperwork in order. They were getting ready to move that weekend and she ends up in the hospital. So it was just total chaos. <laughs> but the thing is, you've got to prioritize these things before it's, before you have to have them. You need to have stuff organized and in order. And now I'm getting ready to go into a home and have to help declutter and organize and remove all of these person all these belongings that this person had and they had way more than they needed. So now it's a heavy burden. Their family lived out of town, uh, out of state. Some of them like to deal with this, like it, it is a heavy burden and it is a financial burden for your family in the beginning when they're coming in from, they're having to book flights, rent cars, travel, like all those expenses, hotel, like all of these expenses come up for your family when you're the one who need who who didn't have your stuff organized like if you have your stuff organized it's already so easy to get it done but if you don't then you're leaving your family with a lot of mess on their hands and you're making it harder for them to grieve and plan your funeral and all of the things that need to be done like all of the things that they should be doing they're having to delay because it wasn't organized and we've got to figure out how to get it done I don't want that to be you. I don't want it to be me. So if you don't have your stuff in order, I suggest you go get that done immediately. All right. I am, I, I got to go um, today. I'm in a rush, but I've got to get this done. And I am urging you, please prioritize the things that are important. Get your paperwork in order before it's too late. You never know. You never know. And you don't want your kids just getting... <sighs> My kids would have to go in foster care if my family didn't come and get, you know, like how can they, who knows? You don't know. You don't know. So please get your paperwork in order. Give whoever you want custody to your kids. They need a copy of it so that they can bring it. Um, You know, like they need access to that information too. Like it's it's so important. The people that are going to be taking care of, you know, coming in in the emergency or, you know, in that unexpected time. That's the people that you need to have access to this information. So if you haven't taken care of that, please prioritize that. Like don't wait another, don't wait till next year to get this done. This is something you need to prioritize now. Go ahead and do it. Um, I'll leave Hillary's links in the bottom in the show notes. If you wanted to contact her, she is a family law specialist for she's doing this sort of paperwork is her specialty. So Oh, she's amazing. I'll share her podcast next week. Um, if I can get to it this weekend, I will do that. But I just want you to prioritize that the things that are important. I love you guys so much. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and get this stuff in order. Have those conversations with your family. If you haven't yet, what needs to happen? All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the SOS mom podcast. We are here to help you simplify, organize, and style your home, your family, and your life. So if you want to contact us, you can do that at thesosmom.com. You can email hello at thesosmom.com. And you can join the Facebook group for some behind the scenes and some photos of before and afters and maybe some videos coming up soon too at the SOS Mom Show. That's in the Facebook groups. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for listening to this episode. If you have not done so already, please leave a review for this podcast. It means so much to me and it really does brighten my day and really encourage me to keep going. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.